get this go back, 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 back. Number five, the McLaren F1. Going fast is all well and good, but there is significantly more to driving than hitting the car's top speed. In fact, hitting the top speed of any of these vehicles will get you arrested more times than not. While well, nowhere near as fast as current vehicles, the McLaren F1, moving at a top speed of roughly 240 miles per hour, was the fastest production car on the market from 1998 to 2005. But what was more impressive than its high speed was its design. Most McLaren models had three seats in the front, with the driver's seat actually situated in the middle of the car, just ahead of the other two seats. The frame was also lighter and more streamlined than modern cars, and had greater visibility for the driver. In fact, it was soon discovered that the air resistance was not the reason it couldn't accelerate to greater speeds, but that the engine of the car simply wouldn't rev any faster. Regardless, the highly efficient and basic layout of the standard car made it easy for many other models to be created, and despite not being designed for it, many McLaren F1s were converted into race cars and several proved very successful on the track. Despite not being the fastest or having the strongest engine, many call the McLaren the greatest automotive achievement of all time. Number 4. The Bloodshed Motor Zombie 222 Recently, Teslas have made the stereotypical slow and wonky electric car a thing of the past. With their new models able to accelerate incredibly fast and hit speeds that the average driver would only dream of. Yet, and this may come as a surprise, the fastest electric car available is actually not made by Tesla. The world record for the fastest electric car actually goes to what is known as a Zombie 222. Zombie cars are made by Bloodshed Motors, who take older muscle vehicles like a 68 Mustang, rip out its inside, and install a powerful electric motor. Hitting 178 miles per hour is not terribly impressive compared to other vehicles on this list, but the Zombie 222 model in particular reaches 60 miles per hour in an incredible 1.8 seconds, a rate of acceleration faster than any other car on this list, and was once thought to be impossible. The Zombie also boasts a very impressive 800 plus horsepower with a torque of 1800 pounds per square foot. So if you ever feel the need to drive an electric vehicle while the rest of the world thinks you are actually driving a classy muscle car, Getting a zombie is probably the best and fastest option. Number 3. The Hennessy Venom GT Ask any car snob what the fastest production car in the world is and almost every single time they will reply with the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport, reaching 268 miles per hour. It is certainly quite fast, to the point that it is credited as the fastest production car in the Guinness Book of World Records. But it may not hold that title for much longer, as another sports car, the Hennessy Venom is already hitting record speeds of 270 miles per hour. In that case, it should have the world record, right? Well, unfortunately for the Venom GT, the rules for being the fastest production car are as follows. While setting the speed record, it must complete one full turn and it must be in a production car. The problem with the Hennessy Venom is when it hit 270.4 miles per hour last year, it did not turn around to complete a second lap, and it hasn't been able to match that speed since. Furthermore, there is also the debate about whether the car counted as an in-production car, as at the time, only 16 cars had been sold out of a necessary 30. Unlike most other vehicles, the Venom is almost completely hand-built, so it isn't actually mass-produced for sale. To the Venom's credit, it does hold several other Guinness World Records, such as the fastest acceleration to 186 miles per hour, and on other news, Hennessy has recently boasted that they are developing new vehicles in order to claim the honor of fastest production sports car. So the Bugatti Veyron's title is still on the line. Number 2. The Bugatti Chiron The Bugatti Veyron Supersport has held the title of world's fastest legal streetcar since 2010, but it has been over 6 years since its release, and many up and coming companies have been striving to break their record. Due to these oncoming challenges, Bugatti is well on their way to begin production of their newest high speed production model, the Bugatti Chiron. Revealed earlier this year in March, the current models are restricted to a max speed of 261 miles per hour, but the true top speed of the vehicle is said to be in the area of a record breaking 288 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour faster than its predecessor. Even if this speed is an over exaggeration, which can be assumed to be within 10 miles per hour, it's still a record breaking achievement. Whether it can be called the fastest legal streetcar is debatable because of its low speed restriction. It's only a matter of time before the vehicle is put into production and recognized. According to Bugatti, the Chiron accelerates from 0 to 62 miles per hour in only 2.5 seconds, to 124 miles per hour in about 6.5 and to 186 and only 14. While the Bugatti Chiron might not move at 300 miles per hour, it's one step closer to the Hot Wheels movie cars we dreamed about as children. 
Number 1. The Thrust SSC You might think to yourself, well, I can attach a couple rockets to a car and move faster than any of the other cars on this list. And frankly, you certainly can. And well, people actually have. The goal for the Thrust SSC was to go hypersonic, breaking the speed of sound. Reaching Mach 1 in a plane is easy peasy, and we've been doing it since 1947. When it comes to speed, planes have gravity on their side and can rapidly accelerate by veering towards the Earth. Land vehicles have no such luck, so reaching Mach 1 with a car is quite a bit more challenging. In order to generate enough thrust to move faster than sound, the Thrust SSC had to be pushed by a pair of Rolls-Royce Spey 202 jet engines. The resulting thrust measured up to 50,000 pounds, giving the SSC a total horsepower of 100,000. The shockwave of the sonic boom it produced was so powerful a town 10 miles away thought there might be an earthquake occurring. To call this vehicle a car is a little more than an understatement. But it has wheels, so I guess we're rolling with it. This record was actually set nearly 20 years ago in 1979, and humanity's drive to move things faster and faster means that this record might soon be up for review.